So ChatGPT is considered one of the smartest um, AI tools out there. A lot of people have been talking about uh, ChatGPT replacing uh, Google and you know being the leading chatbot around. But there is a chatbot and there is a search engine that's uh, with a chatbot integrated into the search engine that's been around for a few months and I've been playing around with it for a while. Actually, I've been playing around with it since it was in beta. Um, and I found that you.com, which is the search engine I'm talking about, is a lot smarter than ChatGPT in many ways, but it's also a lot dumber. And what I discovered after years of, after months, sorry, after months of playing around with uh, you.com uh, is that the search feature and the chat feature, you know, they're, they're, they're maybe not as cohesive as we would, we would like to expect, but when you use a chat bot uh, for certain things, it's a lot more accurate, it's a lot more, uh, the information it's pulling from is a lot more latest, and so it gets the dates correct, it gets, it gets the locations correct, it, it gets a lot of the t stuff that chat GPT does not get correct, it gets right, and so, if you're if you're writing an article or you're writing an essay, um, this is a much better tool. But I'm going to go into how to write an article using uh, u.com. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I use u.com to do SEO. And this is important for two reasons. Not only because this is a chatbot, but also because this is a chatbot that's built into a search engine. And it, 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 it works as a team in a way. Now, it's not perfect in doing that. They're still working on it. but if you if you start using it the way I show you, and these are a few tips of how to use it to speed up your workflow, um, you can also use it to write articles. You can use it to write blog posts. You can use it to write essays. And does a very really, really good job of it too. Not a lot of it passes a copy checking program, but it gives you a good starting point. But I'm not going to in, go into that in this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use it to do SEO, so that you can use it to speed up your SEO process. And it's a lot. I mean, it fills in the blanks that ChatGPT has, to say the least. So without further ado, so guys, if you like the video, like and subscribe. If you need SEO, I do SEO for a living. I do SEO for a lot of big companies, a lot of small companies, a lot of small businesses. I also do an SEO, run an LCO, SEO consultation. So if you're looking for someone to do SEO, need consultation, need help, feel free to click the link below, fill the form, and I will get in touch with you. So let's jump right into you.com. All right, so we've logged into uh, u.com and speaking of logging and you don't need to log in you can use it absolutely free without having to log in now there are a few perks to logging in i'm not going to get into that uh into this video and you can also install its uh google chrome app which i'm also not going to get into i'm just going to use the interface as it is because it's free it's hassle free you just get in and you start working now first article i'm going to generate is a blog post i'm going to keep the, the tone friendly and I'm also going to uh, target my audience as tourists. And what I'm going to write about is write about the history of the Bronx. And I'll go ahead and hit write. And while this is writing, I want to just show you how this compares to ChatGPT. So I'll do the same thing in ChatGPT. Um, all right, so this is the one for the Bronx Zoo, which is generated. It, and then you can look at this. It's, it's, it's the Bronx Zoo, the largest zoo in the United States. It's long and interesting history. Um, the zoo was founded in 1899, and you can read this, you can freeze the screen, pause it, and you can read this. But compared to this, um, u.com does a better job. Um, you also see that a lot of these dates here, um, and the mentioning of the person who opened the zoo, and you know a lot, a lot of the details uh, that should be in this are missing. Um, if I go to the version uh, that you did, dot com generated a real quick this right here um and this is more touristy so welcome to the bronx zoo one of the most iconic attractions in, in new york city the zoo has been around since 1899 it is home to over 4,000 animals it has all of that but you'll see but you see it also has details so the bronx zoo was founded by william temple harnaday who wanted it to be an educational facility where visitors could learn about more Anim about animals and their habitats. He also wanted to become a center for research on animal behavior. And if you read this, this is like very well done compared to what Chad GPT is putting out. Um, it also has a list of uh, popular exhibits and 
a lot of the stuff that you'll see in the zoo is a lot of stuff that the tourists uh, would want to know before there was the Bronx Zoo or even if they're just doing some research. So well, once you generate this text, you can just go ahead and copy it from here. Um, you can also share it and you can share it on social media. Um, and this just shows you how powerful u.com is, but nobody's talking about it. And it's a shame because it's a, this is an immensely powerful tool. Now, how do you use this for SEO? And interestingly, this is really good at SEO. Um, and I'll show you a few tricks that, I, uh, that speed up the SEO process. If you want to use it for SEO, there are a few tricks that speed up the SEO process. So I'll go to all, all here. And u.com can do everything uh, that ChatGPT does for SEO and then some. So I made a previous video on how to use um, how, how to use ChatGPT for SEO. And this just adds another layer to it. So I'm not going to go into because u.com does everything that ChatGPT does and does some more stuff too. So I'm just going to go into that some more stuff. If you want to see the other stuff, you can you know refer to my previous video. So what I did, what I initially ran was, um, you know, can you uh, give me a list of LSI keywords associated with accounting? It just gave me this whole list. And this is from the previous example that I worked in the video prior to this video. Um, and it says financial accounting, bookkeep, bookkeeping services, and all of that good stuff. So, but the difference maker is here is if I ask it. Um, so if, let's say if, if I'm going to research uh, bookkeeping services. So I'm going to copy here and I'll say, Give me, uh, give me the search volume for um, bookkeeping services. And if I do that, it'll quickly give me the volume for bookkeeping services. This says it was been four thousand four hundred and eight thousand searches a month, which is pretty accurate in my. Um, in my research when I've compared this to what Google shows and what other tools show, this is pretty much the ballpark figure. And you're, you're saving money on a keyword research tool right here by just using this. And you don't have to go through the trouble of logging into Google, um, Google AdWords, and you're just going through all of the, all of the list of keywords. And Google AdWords, quite frankly, doesn't do, the, do a very good job of suggesting keywords. So let me try another one. Let me try Give me the search volume for um, certified public accountant and see what it does for me. And 14,800 to 29,000. Now, if I do the same search on, um, if I do the same search on uh, ChatGPT, let's see what ChatGPT gives me. Uh, okay, so give me the search volume for Put this in your accounts. Let's see what it gives me. And it says, I'm sorry, I'm unable to provide you with this data. And quite frankly, it's not part of, it tells me that it's not part of its learning model and stuff like that. So, and also it tells me to go and, you know, quite literally uh, get lost. Uh, <laughs> so this is not going to be, if, another, if I try another search on uh, chat GPT, for instance, if I say, uh, How many uh, words do the top ranking websites have for certified public accountant? I'll also copy the prompt. And as he says, it's difficult for me to provide an exact word count, blah, 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 blah. And so we quickly uh, pivot to u.com and see what u.com does uh, so that it tells us family is how many words uh, on average do the top ranking pages have um, for the keyword certified public accountant so I'll just go ahead and I pasted the same search in here and boom and this is pulling up data from Moz it's saying according to data from Moz the average word count for a top 10 websites for certified public accountant is 2,556 words. So the median is 2,539 words. This indicates that content for this keyword needs to be more detailed and comprehensive in order to write. So if I'm rank, if I'm writing content 
uh, for certified public accountant. I already have the data that I need, so you know I can write a 2,500 word article and I can make it highly detailed. And now what I can also do is, and this is something we did with ChatGPT, is I can ask it to draw me a, an outline of the content. So uh, let's go ahead and paste this here real quick. And boom, it gives me an outline. So an introduction, qualifications, responsibilities, skills, uh, career paths, and then a conclusion. So now I have this bare bones, um, you know, this bare bones outline of what I, I can go ahead and start filling this up. And one of the things I can do uh, with this is I can also, I can also ask uh, you.com to tell me, uh, to give me a list of keywords that are related to this, uh, to certified uh, public accountant. So what we're going to do here is I would and this is all those, this is, we did, we did set something similar for ChatGPT. Um, so, so give me keywords that are synonymous with certified public accountants. All right, so this is more, this is something that, this is what we need. So certified public accountants, and we've got um, accountants, auditors, CPAs, chartered professional accountants, financial professional accountants, financial advisors. Um, financial consultants, financial analysts. So we've got that list. So these are the keywords that we want to target on our, our web page. Now, I just want to caution you that you want to do additional research. You want to double check this data because you.com does not claim that this data is going to be accurate, but this certainly speeds up the process. Now, one final step, and this is, um, um, this is something that I do for um, all of my uh, all of my clients is I, I try to find the keyword difficulty for a keyword. So uh, let's ask you. Can you give me a keyword difficulty for? So according to Maz, it's forty out of hundred, which is okay. I guess it's medium. Um, it's immediately moderately competitive and should take some effort to rank. You should also consider doing keyword research to find relevant keywords. And so you can just quickly go from a keyword to a list of keywords to the search volume to an outline for every page and then even um, talk about, uh, you know, that's how difficult each keyword is. So you can create an Excel sheet and you can fill in all the data um, and you're pretty much uh, and you're pretty much done. So the one, um, the one last step is so one last step is uh, suggesting a headline so what i like to do here is i'd, I'd like to ask uh, what can you okay so can you suggest a headline for a web page for certified public accountants and unlock your potential with a Certified public accountant career. So, all right. So, this is a pretty decent headline. Just want to go ahead and make sure that this is not being used by any other page, and we can copy and paste this into our uh, Excel sheet. And we're pretty much done. Now we've been pretty much run through the entire process, um, and we have an outline, and we know how many pages. Obviously, there's a lot more work that goes into this, but this is your preliminary work, and this is where you can speed up the process. And then this would this would be the basis for uh, more work that you would do to find clustered keywords, to find um, you know to come up with an internal linking structure, and to also come up with uh, how each uh, topic relates to the other, so that you can uh, create a a website that's more authoritative um, and that will rank well moving forward, even if you're just doing affiliate marketing. Uh, which I'll get into. One final tip about uh, using you.com is to um, elaborate on your questions. So if you have like a series of uh, keywords that you want to use, instead of using commas, uh, put them in a list, uh, a bulleted list, or break it down into multiple questions. And that will help speed up the process and it's a lot more accurate. Um, the data it pulls in from is also a lot accurate, as I, as I mentioned in um, the video. And so this, this should be speed up a lot of the, the SEO processes that you're working on. And again, guys, if you like the video, like it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.